Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial on Java programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn about the ternary operator available in Java. So in the previous tutorial, you know, you guys have learned about the if and else. So if some condition was true, then we were executing some statement and else we were executing some other statements. So you can use this ternary operator instead of a simple if and else. So let's say in your program, you have to find out the maximum number between two numbers. So for example, you know, let's say I have the number one and let's say it contains a value 100 and num2 and it contains a value 200. So you need to write a program, you know, which is going to find out the maximum value. So what you can do is you can have a variable called max you know to store the maximum value and then you guys can check that using the if statement so if num1 is greater than num2 then it is gonna mean that you know the max equal to num1 you know else max equal to num2 you know the maximum number equal to num2 so this is gonna work and it's gonna calculate the maximum number so i can print it out using the system dot out dot print line and you know i can call the variable max there and i can run this program and you guys can see we get the maximum number 200 so in java a simple approach is available or a simple way is available when you're gonna use simple if and else so that is nothing but the ternary operator so i just gonna comment all this code out so that you know they will not be executed and also you know when I, when i give the source code you guys can compare these codes all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the ternary operator so as the name indicates you know this ternary operator is gonna take three operands so to use the ternary operator first you need to write the expression so here to check for the maximum number we can write this expression you know whether this num1 is greater than num2 if it is so we're gonna return num1 else we're gonna return num2 so here whatever the expression that you're gonna write before this question mark will be evaluated first if this expression evaluates to true then the statement which is after this question mark will be executed else if this expression fails then the statement after this colon will be executed so here if this num1 is greater than num2 then num1 value will be returned else if this num1 is less than num2 then num2 value will be returned so what we can do is we can store that in our max variable so this code is exactly similar to this code so if num1 is greater than num2 we're gonna return num1 else we're gonna return num2 so if i run this program you guys can see we get 200 so you can use this ternary operator whenever we're gonna use very simple if and else so here you know instead of writing this um, file line code you guys can write it in one line so this is it guys this is about a short video tutorial on the ternary operators available in java so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and you guys can like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learning lad and also the code for this tutorial will be available in my web blog learning lad education.blogspot.com you guys can go there and copy the code so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial